Good morning everyone, today we're back at the Texas Ranch. I got up probably 15 minutes ago, I made myself a bagel and a cup of coffee. I'm enjoying both watching a few Farm Sim YouTube videos, but let's get out from behind the desk and let's get a few projects done. As I head on out the door, I'm just going to put my coffee cup here in the sink here. But like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. It seems to be a beautiful day here in West Texas. Look at the skyline here. Unbelievable. Now, it's actually been a few weeks here since our previous episode here at the property. Just a lot of things happening. But a few days ago, guys, I actually had a few buddies uh, come by with their dirt bikes. We went riding for several hours here. I actually really want to get it washed now. I left it outside because I don't want the mud, the dirt all over the barn or our garage. So I think really quickly we're going to wash it and roll it on inside. Now guys, this dirt bike is actually an old motocross dirt bike here. This actually won, I believe, a championship, which is pretty cool. But now I'm thinking it, this might be the time for us to get a new bike here. Maybe a, a, a Yamaha, Honda, Kawasaki. I'm definitely going to probably go look at all the brands here, see what's in our budget, and see if we can get this thing replaced here. Although this does have a lot of power, there is definitely a lot of wear and tear on it. You guys can see it's coming clean, little by little. Alright, let's get the dirt bike rolled on in here. Now, we do have a jack stand with it, so I think right about there should be good. We definitely don't want it too close to the boat here. But guys, we actually had several parts come in, and today is the day we are going to be doing some big improvements here. So I actually bought paint uh, to paint this here. I got new mower blades, so we're going to be putting those on. And I did get new engine filter and some oil here. So hopefully we could do that, and then maybe if we need to, we could replace the exhaust here on it. But guys, I was actually thinking, now that it's time time to paint it do we black it out do we change the color but I'm thinking it uh, we'll probably just kind of stay with this color here so we'll back it on out we're gonna do this in the yard I'm gonna wear a mask because the paint spray is probably not the best thing to be uh, breathing in here but let's come around back we don't want to over spray on the building anything like that here this is gonna be a lot of work now Really quickly, I have to find the box of paint here. I actually ordered it online and, oh, here it is here. So I have about four cans. Hopefully, uh, we are able to spray paint this here. But let's get going on painting it here. This is going to take a little bit of time. But backyard paint job. But hey, it's going to be a lot better looking than uh, having it kind of all worn out. And it's definitely going to look pretty neat. An hour's worth of work and four paint cans later. You guys can see this did come out pretty good here. I think I need to probably buy one more uh, to do a little bit more touch up. But I actually want this to kind of uh, dry. I really don't want to be working on the oil. Things like that. Uh, because that could potentially uh, ruin, damage our new paint job here. But I actually just got a call from our neighbor, the farmer, who owns all that farmland. And he just said he bought a brand new farm truck. He said we could look at it. But he also said he did not end up trading in his old one and asked if I would be interested in buying it so I think I'm gonna buy it here if it's the one I'm thinking of it is gonna be a pretty sweet truck here now you guys might be asking if we want to go buy it how are we gonna get there I would drive one of the trucks and then we have to leave one at his uh, farm so I'm thinking why don't we just take the Honda this should be able to fit in the bed and uh, we're only going uh, just up the road you could actually see uh, the, his farm in the distance yeah I think the Honda would work uh, uh, fine hopefully there's no uh, police or uh, sheriff driving along the roadway that wouldn't be too good for us since I don't think we could really take this on the road here but we're just going uh, to the land next door so we should have no problem I'm thinking guys we're just gonna go along the side of the road here if anybody wants to go past they could go right on by now guys I actually did end up selling the Ford F100 we found that in a barn fine and I posted it online a few weeks ago and someone offered me quite a lot of money so we made a little bit of profit on that which is exciting and we actually uh, uh, have kind of sold a few farm uh, trucks uh, a few ranch trucks that we previously owned here so I'm actually really interested uh, to see what truck this is now I do know this farmer has quite Quite a few Cummins, and I think he does have an older Ford. Not exactly sure what make and model, uh, but it, I think it's an older F350 here. But he actually said it was in the main uh, farm shop here, and it's probably around the other side.
Oh, here it is, guys. Wow, that is a pretty sweet farm truck here. This looks to be the 2014 generation. I actually really do like it. This thing looks in pretty good condition here. Looks like a few dings and dents along the dually, along the bedside here. Oh, wow. A little bit of a big uh, ding in the bumper, but no problem. We could always get those replaced here, but I'm going to send him a text and see if he's going to stop on by to show us it. And hey, maybe we could see his new truck. Good morning, farmer. This is a brand new truck. Wow, this thing looks pretty sweet here. So this is a brand new uh, 2021. Wow, that looks awesome here. It's a 3500 Cummins turbo diesel. Uh, what trim level is it? Oh, limited edition. Wow, this thing's pretty fancy for a farm truck. Yeah, but this thing is going to be pretty good at work here. So you called me asking if I wanted to buy the truck. Is that the one right next to this? Why don't we take a look at it? So this is the 3500 Cummins Dually here. Now this is a 2014 model, correct? Awesome. How many miles do you have on it? Right around 50,000. Wow, it's in pretty good condition. I do see some digs and dents. Uh, do you have a number in mind for what you're thinking here? I do want it if the price is right. All right, deal. Let's shake on it. Let's do the paperwork. Well, guys, I just bought this, and I think I'm going to hold off on telling you the price here. Maybe you guys could guess down below in the comments, but I think it was a pretty good deal for the both of us here. Now, Farmer, I actually rode this here from my property, so if you could help me get it loaded in, once we do the paperwork, I'll be on my way back with my new uh, ranch truck. Well guys, the paperwork's done, the deal's done, and he actually just helped me get it loaded up here. So we're ready to head on back to the uh, ranch now. You guys have been asking for quite a long time to get a Cummins as a ranch truck here, and this is the perfect opportunity. Now I do know that there are a lot of mods we could do here too to make it our own, and uh, it does look like there's also a CB radio on the inside here. He was probably using that uh, to talk uh, to his employees, working out in the field, and so on here. But this is a pretty sweet truck. Now farmers take really Really good care of their trucks and that is a huge bonus uh, bonus for us here as well but this thing guys the dually the two-tone paint with the white and the, the uh, black there looks pretty cool I believe that's actually charcoal color and wow this thing is pretty fancy here but let's get it on back to the house I do probably want to vacuum it give it a nice wash and hey maybe even put a full wax on it just to make it look even better than what it is here but I'm gonna have to look online see what type of mods there are uh, maybe we could get upgraded uh, mirrors Maybe we could get new uh, bumpers, things like that, in it. or hey, uh, maybe even new grill inserts. So there's so many opportunities uh, to look for some new things here. Uh, but guys, I think I'm ready to call it a day. I might actually go see if the lawnmower is dry. Maybe do the oil change, and uh, because we actually do need to mow the property soon. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a pretty fun one. Let me know down below what you would do to this truck. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.